some companies, they just can't seem to get the respect they deserve, even when they keep blowing away the numbers. That's how I feel about CBRU Group. That's CBG for you, home gamers. This company is the world's leading purveyor of commercial real estate services. They help real estate investors by providing outsourced leasing, sales, appraisal development, property management services, although they also own some properties of their own. Now, CBRE has been a huge winner for us. Last December, I invited the CEO on the show to introduce you to his company as a way to play real estate without buying real estate investment trusts, which we know have been under a lot of pressure. Do you know the stock has rallied thir nearly 30% since then? Yet even after this move, this stock is still underappreciated. Just this week, CBR reported a phenomenal 12 cent earnings beat off of a 53 cent basis. Company never, it gave you a significant increase to its full year guidance. It wasn't a perfect quarter, but it was really, really good. What happened? The stock went lower. That's nuts. Don't take it from me. Let's check in with Bob Salentic. He's the president and CEO of CBRU Group to hear more about his latest quarter and where the company is headed. Mr. Salentic, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you here, Jim. How are you? All right. Now, I saw the diversification of your model is extraordinary. There was a time when you were an American company. This would have been a tough quarter. But your international business is simply amazing. I need you to talk about how you have just done a remarkable job with what's happening with Brexit and how strong it is because of these acquisitions you made and how timely they were. Well, Jim, it's our acquisitions, but it's also the organic growth that we've had in those markets, and it's following our customers around the world. All three of those things, we've added a lot of talent, a lot of capability, taken market share. All of those things has helped us, have helped us to do well. And, of course, the U.K. market and London performed a lot better this quarter. Ooh than they did a year ago. Right. Now, when you have these offices, say, in, in France or Netherlands, I'm hearing banks going, uh, these big multinational banks, going to the Netherlands, uh, going to Germany, going to places that we never thought, but they don't know anything about how to do it. Don't they just call CBRE? Well, we certainly help them with all their real estate needs. So we help them find locations. We help them manage locations. We do pretty much everything they need in the real estate arena. That's our outsourcing right. business. That allows them to focus on their core strategies helps them control costs and be where they want to be. Now, we saw some very interesting clients that we've had on recently. I've interviewed McDonald's and I've interviewed uh, Prologis. If so people are familiar with them, what do you do for those two different companies? Well, we, what we do for them is generally what we do for most people. We lease uh, space for a company like Prologis, biggest okay. warehouse owner in the world. For a company like McDonald's, we do management. We, do, we find locations sometimes for companies like that. We do a lot of different things, buy and sell buildings. Uh, for people that invest in the buildings that they occupy. Uh, almost anything you can do in commercial real estate, we do for occupiers like that okay, or now, investors. All right, now, it, it's very interesting because you guys are a completely transparent company. Asked point blank about U.S., and you said, well, one of the problems was some weakness, but Manhattan's gotten weaker. How did that happen? Well, Jim, the leases in Manhattan are enormous, and the fees associated with those leases are enormous. We had a great quarter a year ago in Q2. We did less big deals in Manhattan in Q2 this year, but the market there is still very healthy. Does it matter if there's, let's say there's cities where there's no new building. Can you still do a good job and still get a lot of business? Well, when you look at what we do, we manage buildings, we lease buildings, we sell buildings, we help people buy buildings, we develop buildings. Wherever there's real estate, there's work for us to do. And when there's real estate to be added, there's lots of work for us to do. So the one thing that people should know about our business and our company, the base of real estate that's occupied around the world is growing. That's good news for our company on a sustainable basis. These technology uh, acquisitions you've made, how do they give you an edge in the other guy? Well, first of all, our scale allows us to invest in technology in a way that others can't. So uh, let me give you an example okay. of a company we bought. We bought this company, Floored. It allows us to do 3D visualization and space planning for owners and occupiers of space. But the other thing we got with Floored is we got a tremendously talented team. The person that leads all of our technology efforts for our brokerage businesses came from Floored. So being able to invest in companies like that is a big advantage for us. Okay, so when I was doing my special about the World Trade Center, they took me to a floor that was just totally empty, and they said, imagine this. I can't imagine that. So you're saying this is what you do when someone says imagine this. Well, with this tool, you could certainly imagine it, and you could imagine it in many different ways very quickly. That's the beauty of the tool. Okay, when you came on, people were very fascinated by real estate, and a lot of people I know actually bought, bought the stock, which is terrific. But some people said, well, listen, I want a piece of a building. And I said, well, I think you only really can buy the stock. What do you always say to people who see me and say, hey, Seabury, I hear they own buildings, they, or I would like to own a piece of, of commercial real estate. I, I think that the best thing to do is own 
own CBRE. Well, if you own CBRE, you own real estate services, you own real estate right. investment, you own real estate outsourcing, you own the United States, Europe, Asia, right. very, very diversified. Yeah, I think it's just better to do that. I, I think we don't want people to be in trying to get one one millionth of a piece of something on 32nd Street. Okay, that's Bob Salentic, president and CEO of CBRE Group. What a great performer. Fabulous compounded growth numbers. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.